We've met our first three contestants, and now it's time to meet the United States. Hi, my name is Marissa Butler, and my goal as Miss World America is to show young women across the world that you do not have to confine yourself to the box or label that someone assigns to you. Instead, I encourage young girls to be a modern-day Renaissance woman, a woman who is not held back by limitations, stereotypes, or labels. This is the type of woman I aim to be in every single aspect of my life, from being a three-sport athlete, an academic, a conservationist, a singer, a woman in finance, an adventurer, and a beauty queen. I do not let one area of my life define me nor place limitations on other areas of my life simply because they normally do not go together. Instead, I follow my heart, I do the things that I love and that bring me joy, and I hope to spread this message of being unapologetically you to young women not only across my country, but across the world. United States, in your video you said people don't need to confine themselves to boxes or labels. Can you explain this a little more? Yes. I feel that young people, uh, especially when they're trying to find where they belong in this world, they latch on to the first identifier that they're given, whether it's an academic, an athlete, a singer. But I think that the most important word that we should use to define ourselves is and. And shows that you have a desire to get to know who you are, but also who you can become. I love when people start to get to know me that they're surprised by certain aspects of my personality, from being struck by lightning to tagging sharks for conservation. I hope to show young people across the world that you can pursue more than one passion at a time because I think that every single one of us deserves to have more than one dream. I think I have to ask the follow-up about lightning, so yes. l please. <laughs> Um, so I was doing everything your mom tells you not to do during a thunderstorm. I was in the sixth grade and believe it or not, I was inside. I had the window open because I love the sound of uh, thunderstorms. Uh, maybe not so much now, <laughs> but I had the window open. I had these big metal earrings on, just had gotten out of the shower so my hair was wet. I was on my computer and the phone all at once. So just one big conductor waiting to happen. Um, uh, so the lightning came in through the window and the way the doctors described it to me because I didn't uh, suffer from extreme burns, they said that lightning comes down kind of like a hand. So they said I got the pinky of it. So I was very, very fortunate um, because I didn't have any long lasting effects. Um, but a really cool thing uh, that happened, my sister told me about this because obviously I was unconscious, um, was that we had this big old box TV in our home and she went around to unplug all the electronics but when she unplugged the box TV it was still working because there was so much electricity that has surged into our house and apparently the TV worked you could change the channel change the volume for a few hours afterwards um, I obviously wasn't there to watch it I was in the hospital um, they were trying to monitor my body temperature to keep it cold um, but yeah so and then the next day, my computer teacher uh, brought me into class because my mom made me go to school the next day. Uh, and she used me as an example of why you shouldn't be on your computers during a thunderstorm. My goodness. Well, we're, we're blessed you survived to tell the tale. And thank you. And um, I want to hear more, but not enough time in this episode. Yes. So please, let's, let's chat after. Of um, and in the meantime, 